He wouldn't take that penalty. I, I wonder where it leaves him. I know, Peter, you're not a, a, his biggest fan. What did you make no, of this? No, it's not that I'm not his biggest fan, but I, don't, I think if you have... If you have that name and that reputation, you have to step up. You have to create everything for this team. And he did it in one... This is what I don't understand. He did it once and it, it, it ended up in a goal. It was brilliant. He played together with his teammates. And, 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 and for many other situations in the game, he was trying to do it on his own. I, I, I think he would have taken the last penalty, but we kind of don't know. Mm. I think. Discussing no, that, but he probably yeah. would. He would have. He and would then, and then, course, he, record, though. He becomes the hero. Well, he would become the country's all-time top scorer. Which, so I'd be which surprised is not an easy thing to do. Had it not. No, he through. wouldn't, because it wouldn't count. I don't think that would count. If an penalty shooter. I know. No. No. There's been a line that's come out of Brazil, actually, that Thiago Silva has uh, confirmed that it will be his last World Cup. He is 38 years old, but he will be uh, not be representing Brazil in uh, in international games anymore. These are the fi fans from the Netherlands, of course, always loud, always proud. I feel that there's going to be a cauldron atmosphere in this stadium tonight at the Lucille as the Netherlands take on Argentina. We know that the Netherlands fans bring the noise, and the Argentina fans have been something else in this tournament, haven't they? Well, they just acted like almost like when Arsenal see Tottenham results. You know, the reaction of the Argentinian fans <laughs> when Brazil were out. It was almost like they'd already won the World Cup. Should it's be incredible. Be careful there because you just don't know what happens in two hours' time. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. exactly. Know. And this is it because what we've seen is, I mean, it's interesting because some people say it's a, it's a huge shock. Brazil are out. Many people, you know, that's what your headline will be. But Croatia are not a side that you'd ever take for granted and they've proven that they were in the yeah. final four years ago we, we yeah. cannot we cannot forget cannot that. underestimate we that. cannot forget their uh, performances in, in in the nations league just finished they are a very very good team I, i'm not surprised i, I was absolutely i said this this pre-game they're gonna give a stopping team they're gonna give brazil uh, a game i did think though that brazil would be better than they were today but they only showed that they're human beings and they can yeah. be hit by nerves and... I think you know, Korea Republic yeah. gave Brazil too much respect in that game. It was almost like Neymar was back. So everybody, they kind of sat off with them. Croatia tonight, you know, they showed no fear. They started the game well and they defended. You can't argue with the tactics defensively. They were, they were brilliant. OK, very quickly, guys, who is uh, joining them in the semi-finals <laughs> out of Netherlands or Argentina? <laughs> Uh, well, our predictions uh, before were all Brazil. <laughs> exactly. So maybe go against what we think. <laughs> <laughs> go on. I, I'm going to go with the panda, and I have no idea what the panda is. Oh, going. he's going to go, go with the panda. The, I'm going to go with the Netherlands. You're going I'm going to go with the Netherlands. Netherlands. We could see another shock. Jermaine, quick. Argentina. Argentina. Okay. Who We've you got? got one, uh, one neutral. Argentina, yeah. And uh, <laughs> Netherlands and Argentina. Okay. Well, there'll be no more dancing from the Samba boys. Brazil are out of the World Cup.